Good morning. Happy Switch Out Saturday. Although it's not Switch Out Saturday yet because it's sitting out in the yard with the doggy Saturday. <laughs> but no, we'll be switching things up. Hi, Pickles. Um, swap out the nails, swap out the purse, all that kind of stuff. But one of those weeks where I'm just really tired. And, you know, just other folks are going through stuff as well and just it's just kind of been a not fun fun week i'm gonna say i'm sorry to jackie if you all know jackie from jack's bag attack she lost her well she's lost both of her babies this this year but just lost her other baby um and i don't know why when i saw it i, I probably because of these um <laughs> I took it kind of hard. I was just like, poor thing, because it was very sudden. And that's just, it's just the worst. So I'm really sorry that she's going through that. And it's just a really, it's a really tough time. It's just, you know, there are babies. It's, these are the, these are my world. So I know I would be, you know, beyond. So I kind of just want to take a moment to, to think about that, which is why I'm outside with my, with my bug. And Dollar's over there guarding the fence because she takes her job seriously in this house. It's a good thing. This one takes guarding me seriously. <laughs> very, much, very much so. So we will go in the house, right? And we'll go pick out a purse, pick out some nails, get all that stuff done. Yeah, all the good stuff. Yeah, okay. I'll see you inside. She did a good job, right, Mama? Dolly does a good job guarding. She's the best dog. It is actually late morning. Um, I had to go out and get um, some medical work done, the lab work done. I'm not going <laughs> to talk about it in extreme detail, but it was a... Uh, not easy procedure so to speak so I took a little while couldn't have coffee so I uh, had to you know drink a lot of water get prepped and then go in and get that done but thankfully they're open on the weekend um, so got that done then on the way back I got the coffee let's think of this last week recap so it was Stefan's birthday he turned 55 <laughs> turned 55 so we're, we're all officially officially old and um you know going into that second part of our lives so to speak um so took him out to dinner and yeah just kind of did our thing so to speak so um got a couple of bags in um I'll probably do a video on them this next week I haven't decided yet because they are pre-loved and they're not, and I don't think anybody really cares about them, but I thought they were pretty. So maybe would just do a, you know, a reveal or something. Um, and then I picked up some things at the Nordstrom sale. They're not here yet though. So I think they're shipping and arriving sometime this next week, but they aren't here yet. So nothing spectacular, half the wish list sold out, um, like immediately. So we didn't really care, but I think it was like the La Mer thing for sure that I got. And one other thing, and I'm completely blanking on what it is. Nothing, nothing spectacular. So I'm, but anyway, I'm, I'm blabbing away. So no other big purchases this week that, um, I can own up to reveal, <laughs> own up to. I was on Fashion File looking for a new Apple Watch strap. I've been switching these out like every couple of days. I was liking the little stretchy ones because they just seemed, um, more practical for getting in and out of, especially at, you know, five in the morning for the dogs and, and that. I digress. The Apple Watch is the bane of my existence right now. Um, nail update so we did got cake and i really love this um 
nail color it wore off of that nail pretty quickly but every other nail seems to hold up um, pretty decently so that's the whole week no touch-ups just two coats and no top coat so it actually wears pretty well Is it right here yeah right here got cake so I like I really like this one I'm really glad that they um, brought it back for a limited time I believe it's officially retired now though unfortunately so not available anymore but it's a very pretty um, color and I'm just glad to to have it in my collection so we'll see what this week we feel like having the um, ones I bought last weekend haven't even shipped yet from the sale which is odd normally they um, are pretty quick with their shipping so I feel like I won't be getting that collection until probably the end of the month so you know when it gets here I'll I'll be able to use it um I'm really excited for almost all of the colors quite quite honestly so I thought it was a good 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 purchase so I do not know what I want to carry this week for a bag um I have to go in the office on Tuesday so definitely have to pull out the Neverfull for that day and it's an all day so I'll need um like a little bag to pull out so in my office I can put my Neverfull like in my cube area and it's behind a secured lockdown door so I don't have to worry I can just lock it you know put it behind my desk and not really worry about anything happening to it so I can pull out my valuables so I want to take like a little um I don't know crossbody wallet on chain something for when I go to lunch or go on a break or what have you and take take the you know valuables with me but the bag itself I don't feel um worried about it being just there in the office so that's the only like big yeah yeah that's the only time I'm going to go out that um requires any real planning for so I mean, I could go into a small bag and then just think about that, just throwing it into um, the work bag for the week. And then we'll see. I'm trying to figure out what makes sense. So once I figure that out, I will um, go over there. And the fragrances did wear them all. So we'll talk about that over at the tray, pick out the ones for next week. Um yeah, so it was a relatively good, I guess, accountability week with utilizing all the things that we need to utilize. And we'll come back when we're swapping everything out and talk about it at the end. Okay, we're over here at the fragrance counter. And uh, I think I mentioned it earlier, I wore everything. So really pleased about the week. I ended up wearing um Santal once I did the Heretica once did Lemon Island once I actually wore Sylvanel twice and I did Vanilla Vibes twice um first impressions still it's I think this is it's fine it's just a little heavier than I wanted to wear for this time of year but it wasn't horrible it's just um this is probably more of a colder on my body um, kind of scent for how I would want, how it made me feel basically. So like it, but not, not for this time of year for me. Um, for the Sula Nail, I really did enjoy wearing, um, this Hermes scent. I'm going to probably bring out a different one this week so I can really give it a good run for its money this set, but, um, so far so good when I get down to a lower amount, I would definitely repurchase this one for sure. I remember when I unboxed this, that there was one that really didn't agree with me at that time. Again, it's been a while since I've used them. So when I come across it, I will probably know. And maybe that's why they swapped out this year, um, one of them for a different Scent, since there's six total in this series and they can only obviously put four in there but um let's see lemon island it's fine it's just um 
because of the lemon, just for whatever reason, in my mind, I want it to smell like pure, beautiful lemon oil. And it just isn't that. And which is sad to me because Atelier Cologne is really, um, I don't know, everything I've come across from them had always been when they have something in its title, like lemon or orange sanguine or grapefruit, um, Pamela Paradise, which is just grapefruit. Um, if it's, if that's usually in the title, it would make that be the most forward note. And this is not, this is definitely the tree, not, you know, being in the area of, of lemon groves, not wearing a lemon. And I don't know why that just throws me off. So it's a fine scent. It's just, I want it to be something else every time I look at the label and it just, I can't get it out of my head that it should smell something like something else. Um, Juliet has a gun, you know, with my go-to vanilla vibes, you know, beachy kind of scent for this time of year. I really enjoy wearing it. I've already got down to about here in this love it so really enjoy that as per usual and then with the heretica which is new to me i i dabbled in it for sure um here is the packaging because so i'm going to put it back in its packaging when we get done um vertical loud is what it's called and this one to me was very, it reminded me of something else. So when I was, every time I smelled myself, I was like, this smells like something I already have, but not as strong. It's like, there's something else I have too. And I will, when I figure it out, I will, I will grab whatever scent it is or put it in on the screen because I'm just like, I, I've got this, I've got this in several formations in my collection and no need for any more. But uh, other than that, overall, it was a good week. We're back over here. I turned on my little flash because the lighting wasn't so great trying to still keep it cool in here. But um, here's the tray of the week. We're going to do Whispers of Innocence, which is a licorice-y um, floral scent from the Whispers of the Garden line, which I think is discontinued, but I'm not 100% certain. I know that there's still some on the website, but I believe um, most of these are discontinued. Um, of course, having a, have to have a vanilla on the tray every week, it seems like. So vanilla sky. We're going to do City of Stars again, just because I want to get some use out of that. I'm going to move into Sir Le Tote, Twite, Twite. I don't know how to pronounce that. T O I T. This is the one that they took out of the collection this year, um, out of this set from Nordstrom. So I thought I would try that out and see if maybe that's the one didn't react with me well, and that's why um, I might purchase the the set again to have backups. But um, I believe it's already sold out. But I have to double check on my Nordstrom sale. Uh, last but not least, Greedy Or, and I know I mentioned in the past that I, these little um, dabber type bottles, I usually um, don't care for them too much during the week. They're great travel bottles, um, but because they're hard to, you know, spritz, um, I don't grab for them as much. But I went to Amazon and got me these little travel containers that come with this little thing here. Let me see if I can get this out. But basically, um, there we go. So that silver case holds this spray bottle inside it. And it came with like five, Dolly. It came with five of them, different color cases. And then these you can open up and fill with whatever. And I am going to dump greedy or into that one label it and that way it's ready to go for future weeks and um travel so that is the plan for this week this is the tray for this week okay so as i mentioned i really enjoyed wearing got cake so we're gonna go in a similar vein with something that can be done in a quick couple of coats 
in a similar fashion. So I've done it before. I'm going to go with Haute Couture again, just because I have to go to work on Tuesday. I want a relatively easy to touch up and basic manicure. So Haute Couture is the color of the week. Okay, so we had a good week with um, the boxer bag and I'm actually kind of hesitant to come out of it, but it's one of those bags that, you know, you just kind of like start throwing everything in it and don't clean it out very regularly. So it's like napkins, receipts, all the things. So I'm going to reluctantly swap out of it, pull everything out, um, more receipts, that, that, more cash to sit around, apparently just kind of went to town in there, pull that, and I'm going to find a dust bag that can give it um, some care. I did notice, I didn't notice when I unboxed it or unwrapped it from Poshmark, the glazings kind of, um, got some issues, but you know, it was a $40 bag. What are you going to, what are you going to do? Right. But yeah, there's some, it's torn up here, a little bit damaged there. And I think that's it. Mostly just this back, this back edge. So that was a little disappointing to see. But other than that, um, it's in pretty good condition. I'm just going to pack it up and pack it up in, with some packing material to keep its shape. But I think it was a good, yeah, that was a good bag for the week. And before I forget, um, I saw my friend over 4th of July. She brought me something out of her collection that she was getting ready to get rid of. And I was like, you know, I don't have anything left from this era of coach back in the day. So I figured, what the heck, go ahead and bring it my way. It's in pretty decent condition. I don't usually wear anything. Um from this patchwork kind of collection, but you know, you never know. So I thank her for that, but that is not what we're going to get into this week. We are going to get into something else. And that something else is this little bad boy. And it's going to be quite the struggle getting my catch-all in there, but we are going to try our darndest to see how that would even function. I don't think it's going to work. I think I'm going to have to swap out a pouch. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to swap it out. So we're going to swap out that as well. Let me figure out how to make that happen because I really wanted to swap out my card case as well. This one for inside that bag because I need something kind of compact and I don't want to bring out the monogram one again so we will go this route and that can double as a um an item that I can um slip the card case in and run around the office with, which I talked about earlier was my, my thought process for this week. So with these, that, all of the little things. And then, like I said, if worst case scenario, the card case can go in and I can run out and about in the office like this and have my badge as well in there. So that is the plan. Whoops without throwing it on the floor and causing a bunch of chaos and breaking things. All right, so let's figure out the best use. So this mini burrow has two card slots here in the back. It's open space, a very tight center. 
compartment and then on this side a rather large slip and what was a phone case back in the day I don't think yeah it's not going to work for either so I'll probably do my phone in the middle this one in the front glasses in the back with those slots the card case will go here like that I will do coin also there with those. I am not going to take this. I want to take cash. That I don't need. That can actually stay home. And then keys. Keys will be in the front. Ooh, that's tight. That is tight. This is an endeavor. All right, she is packed very, very tight. But it's working. Wish me luck. That's, that's a tiny bag for me. <laughs> okay, I remembered I was going to chat about with you all this week, and I completely forgot earlier was my um, ear jewelry. I have had my ears pierced most of my life and I this top set here I think I got when I was 13 years old so forever <laughs> more than more than 30 years 35 years at this point um they've been pierced so I've been really frustrated the last couple of years it seems like every few months I'll have this situation where I have to almost re-pierce my ears and I'm getting graphic so sorry but I'm just I don't wear the jewelry consistently and it's just getting frustrating. So I um, decided to order some of these studs that have these flat backs. And of course, now that they're in, I don't know if you can see them, but these flat backs that, um, and I'll insert images if that didn't show, that you screw on and they stay, um, stay on because of the regular earrings that I had been wearing the backs would just fly off at night or they get caught in my hair and they'd fly off and I'm like okay well losing earrings left and right is not helping out so so far so good I've had them in for the week and um, they've been doing okay but hopefully that will keep them from um, closing up on a regular basis I actually used to have three holes and that one closed up quite some time ago so I just kind of left it and let it be but just had the two but don't want the second one to close up because I do like wearing jewelry, but, um, I just, you know, I've gotten lazy and the only ones I regularly put in are, are this one right here. So anyway, um, if you all have that problem or have been having that problem with what I thought was a permanent <laughs> scenario and have something else that may work a little bit better for that, um, let me know. Cause I'm, these were from Amazon. They're this, in fact, they're right here, this brand. Um, not unreasonable in price, but I'd like to see what other options I might have. Uh, maybe things that don't actually have a back to them. I saw some that kind of loop through your ear in an interesting way. So, anywho, uh, did the nails in Oak Couture, and I'll just do this. So, this color right here really lovely neutral we will enjoy that um as you saw i got into the mini burrow that she has small bag that's a that's tiny bag energy for me that's going to be an adventure this week so um maybe that's what one of my next videos will be comparing that to the regular size burrow that i have and how they do or do not work for me but anywho, that was this week. I hope that y'all are having, as I said, a good summer so far and enjoying your time. It, oh my God. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, of course, like Daniel and there's somebody else who watches me from that part of the world too, where it's winter right now. I'm so, so I, I can't, I'm totally blanking on your name, but y'all, <laughs> where it's cold, where I wish I was right now. I wish I could win the lottery and spend half my time in temperate climate all the time. It'd be 
just a kind of good escape for a little while and, and have fun. The girls are snoring down here. Um, yeah, it would be fun to have a different environment for a, a little bit of time. But as it is right now, we're going to stick in the 90s and keep going. Keep going. Hope you all have a great um, next week. I hope things get better um, out there in the world. You know, we can just keep on keeping on. So take care. I will talk to you next week.